While this channel mostly focuses on public lands such as the national parks, there are plenty of natural wonders in the private sector as well. One of the most fascinating of these is Royal Gorge in Colorado. Known for being the home of America's highest suspension bridge and zipline, as well as the massive canyon these attractions are built over, Royal Gorge is something for everyone. Let's take a look at what makes this place so spectacular. If you've heard about this park before, it's likely because of the famous bridge. This bridge provides amazing views of the surrounding area and is suspended almost a thousand feet above the Arkansas River. Its construction was an amazing feat, with a group of 80 men assembling the bridge without a single casualty. The bridge withstood a huge fire that destroyed most of the park in 2013, with only 100 boards on one end being scorched. Some of these boards are now being put to a different use, at the front of the new visitor center. For those looking for a more thrilling way to traverse the gorge, and we do mean thrilling, look no further than the Cloud Scraper Zipline. Starting an additional 200 feet higher than the bridge, this attraction allows guests to fly over the canyon at high speeds. The harness is designed for beginners, so don't worry if you haven't ziplined before. The final way to cross the canyon is by gondola. Guests can take a ride on one of the longest single-span gondolas in the country to traverse the mighty gorge. The cables they are running are so long that they even had to be installed by helicopter. This is definitely a ride you won't forget. Once you've had your fill of crossing the gorge, there's still plenty to do on either side. One of the more recent additions to the park is the Royal Rush Sky Coaster. This ride, referred to as the world's scariest sky coaster, hurls visitors right over the edge of the gorge on a giant pendulum, reaching 1,200 feet above the river. Speeds can go up to 50 miles an hour, making this a truly exhilarating experience. If you're interested in learning more about the history of the gorge, the Plaza Theater hosts a documentary about the Royal Gorge or Ever War, the construction of the bridge, and the fires that destroyed much of the park. During the summer, it is also home to a Birds of Prey show, where guests can see some truly amazing birds. The final major attraction at Royal Gorge is the Via Ferrata. This attraction allows for controlled climbing experience on the side of the gorge. A Via Ferrata is a type of climbing system originally developed during World War I, consisting of cables and rungs. This system allows dangerous climbing routes to be scaled with ease due to the added supports. This means the guests of all skill levels, when accompanied by a guide, can experience what it's like to scale the Royal Gorge. It's worth mentioning that many of the park's major attractions are accompanied by separate fees, though they do include admission to the park and the price. Make sure to check the current pricing on their website to make sure you can afford to do everything you plan to. Before we go, let's take a look at the history of the Royal Gorge. As we mentioned in the beginning, the bridge was originally built in 1929. This was accomplished by first building the bridge's massive steel towers. Then, steel cables were lowered into the gorge and joined by workers at the bottom. This allowed the giant bridge to be finished in just seven months. Two years later, the Incline Railway was built, allowing visitors to sink a small train down to the bottom of the gorge. In the 1950s, larger railways were built near the gorge, along with a lodge. And in the early 1980s, the bridge underwent major renovations, including replacing the cable anchors and repainting. On June 11, 2013, tragedy struck the park. A wildfire in the nearby wilderness spread to the park, destroying the vast majority of the facilities. Remarkably, the bridge survived, save for the few burned planks mentioned earlier. Additionally, all staff and park guests, as well as the animals in the wildlife park, were safely evacuated. After over a year of intensive repairs, the park was reopened on August 30th, 2014. Nine months later, once all of the repairs were fully complete, a grand reopening ceremony was held. In total, rebuilding the park to its former glory cost over $30 million. Some attractions like the Incline and Silver Rock Railways are still closed. The park definitely recovered though, reporting record high attendance in 2015, the first full year after they reopened. The story of the Royal Gorge is one of triumph, both the amazing engineering feat that is America's bridge, as well as one of resilience, rebuilding as soon as the flames died down. Thank you for watching RSC Adventures, and we'll see you next time.